So for a couple of reasons, and one of the overarching frameworks that we talk about at Sleep as a Skill is called circadian rhythm entrainment. And it's something that, you know, you can open up any chronobiology textbook and really understand that we can entrain our circadian rhythm and that our circadian rhythm exists on a weak or a strong spectrum. And that, you know, I would make the argument that most of us, certainly in the Western society, would be operating closer to a weak side of our circadian rhythm, meaning that just the signaling process for our bodies to be able to know like, okay, it's time to get up, you know, get up with velocity, Mm -hmm. you know, have a nice raise in cortisol in the morning and then a drop in the evening and then shifting over to melatonin at night. If, we're, if that's really strong, it just sort of happens. And it's like, you know, the friends that you go out with and they just, they still always get sleepy at the same time that they always go to bed. Mm-hmm. They always wake up at the same time they wake I'm, up. I'm no jealous of those people, honestly. Right. <laughs> right. And it, a lot of it can do from just their cueing mechanisms around their environment. And so if you think about it again, from like that evolutionary perspective, if we were basically sleeping more outside within nature and the sun is rising. So the, the cue of the sun, uh, the light, but then also the mm-hmm. cue of its accompanying temperature because it's warming up the earth around you. Those two cues act as a very huge, very clear evolutionary signal to as mm-hmm. diurnal creatures, we're meant to be active during the day and at rest at night. And so we would have gone through that process of kind of, you know, you only have a certain amount of sunlight throughout the course of the day. And then when the sun sets, it's like really party over. Later on in history, we discovered fire 